Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, where you watch and learn. I am your teacher, Sarah Wamaiba. Today I'm taking you through CRE Form 2, Lesson 18. Our topic is Jesus' com works of compassion. And our subtopic is the healing of the centurion servant. Welcome. We start by our lesson goals. What we expected, what I expect the learner. Our learning outcomes. By the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to one, give examples of Jesus' works of compassion. Two, by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to describe the healing of the centurion servant. So, in this topic, we are looking at Jesus' works of compassion. Compassion is a feeling of empathy for other people's suffering. It's being merciful, showing concern and affection for others. So we first look at the healing of the centurion servant. We find this in Luke chapter 7 verse 1 to 10. So a centurion had a servant who was dear to him and was sick at the point of death. When he heard Jesus, he heard Jesus when he heard of Jesus, he sent him elders of the Jews, asking him to come and heal the, serv the, se the servant. And when they came to Jesus, they besought him earnestly, saying, he is worthy to have you do this for him. For he loves our nation and he built us our synagogue. So also the elders loved the centurion. So Jesus agreed and went with them. And when Jesus was not far from the house, the centurion sent his friends to stop him and say to him, Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy to have you under my roof. Therefore, I pray, therefore, give an order and the servant would be healed. Jesus turned to the multitude and said that he had not found such great faith even in, his, in Israel. And when those who had been sent returned to the house, they found the slave well. They found the servant well. So that's the healing of the centurion servant. We see that the centurion, the centurion had a servant who was so dear to him and was so sick to the point of death. So when the centurion heard of Jesus, he sent for him. He sent the elders. And uh, Jesus agreed to come and heal the servant. But when Jesus was near the home of the centurion, the centurion sent him not to come but just say a word and the servant will be healed. Jesus said that he had not seen such great faith even in Israel. And when the men returned, they found the servant well. What lesson do we learn from the healing of the centurion servant? One lesson is that faith is important. Faith in God is important for healing to occur. If you have faith, healing will occur. We should confess our faith in God. Because we see the centurion declared his faith in Jesus by saying he believed that Jesus could heal his servant by his word. That is confessing our faith in Jesus. Christians should have compassion like Jesus. He took compassion on the servant and was ready to go and heal, that is compassion. 
Another lesson is that Christians should love each other regardless of the background or social status. We, soon, we see the, how the centurion loved his servant dearly regardless of the status. Christians should learn to relate well with others. Christians should learn to relate well with others around them. Like how the centurion related well with the elders and the others. Christians should learn to relate well with others. And the lesson is that Jesus has power to heal any form of sickness. Jesus has power to heal any form of sickness. So that's the end of our lesson. And we have an activity. Question 1. Describe the healing of the centurion servant. Question 2. State lessons learned from the healing of the centurion servant. For our references, you can refer to Secondary Christian Religious Education, Student Book 2, KLB 3rd Edition. Thank you for joining us for this and more. You can contact us on our SMS number, which is, which is on the screen. You can also find us on Elimu TV, on YouTube, on Facebook, Elimu TV, and on Twitter at Elimu TV underscore KE. See you next time.